Okay, so hello friends. Today our topic is the classification of parasitology. So parasitology can be divided in two categories. That is protozoology. Protozoology and another one is helminthology. Helminthology. Okay. So in protozoology, let's start with protozoology. So this is protozoology. That is mean the protozoa. So protozoa are divided mainly in four categories. First one is amoeba. <coughs> Second one is ciliates. Third one is flagellates. And the fourth one is sporozoa. Let's start one by one. First amoeba. Amoeba is of two types. So the first one is free living, and the second one is intestinal. Free living are the example of free living amoeba are Negleria, Fowleri, and Acanth. Meba and Balamuthia. Intestinal amoebas are Entamoeba histolytica, and Entamoeba coli. Also called E. coli. This E. coli is not Escherichia coli. Okay. So remember this point. This is not the Escherichia coli. In ciliates, the the example are e, uh, Balantidium coli. And then is next in flagellates. The examples. The it is divided mainly in three categories. So first one is intestinal flagellates. Flagellates. Second one is vaginal flagellate. Third one is blood plus tissue flagellates. Intestinal flagellates, the example is Giardia, Lamblia. Vaginal flagellates, the example are, is Trichomonas vaginalis. And blood plus tissue is Leishmania and Trypanosoma. Okay, now sporozoas are divided into also three categories. The first one is blood species, like them, and uh, second one is tissue species. Those who resides at the tissue, and next is intestinal, intestinal species. The blood species are Plasmodium and Babesia. Tissue species are is Toxoplasma and intestinal species. Intestinal species is Isospora and Cyclospora. So this is the protozoology. Now start with the helminthology. So now helminthology.
so protozoology is a uh, pro means that it is a uh, very uh, primitive organisms or is helminthology is about the helminths which are deep, which are new to the environment so this divided mainly in three types first one is cystodes second one is trematodes and the third one is nematodes okay so cystodes the histode trematode and nematodes if we look at cystodes the example are Tinea solium, Tinea saginata, Echinococcus, Granulosis, Hymenolepsis nana, and Diphylobotrium. Later. Next in trematodes, it's all about the flukes. Examples are Cystosoma mansion. Cystosum japonicum, then vascular hepatica. Okay, and then donorkis, sinensis, and paragonimus. Western Venai. Then, then come to nematodes. Nematodes are divided into two types. Not two types. Uh, divided into uh, five types. So first one is small intestinal, small intestinal examples are Ascaris, Hukon, Nicator, Americanus, Strong guyloids, Stercularis. Okay. These are the small intestinal. Then come to the large intestinal. Large intestinal. The examples are <coughs> Ticulis, <coughs> Ticura. Tirobius, Vermicularis, then come to the tissue nematodes, the examples are tissue nematodes, uh, it is divided mainly into three types, so Lymphatics where the, the uh, nematodes reside in the lymphatics. Next is subcutaneous, and another one is serous cavities. 
lymphatic uh, the examples are ascaris next uh, sorry 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 no, the lymphatic examples are geria bancrofti brugesia mellai and brugia timori subcutaneous are lower lower concosarca volvulus or serous cavities are mansonella usardi another one is mansonella parsons so this will have all about the hemintology so thank you guys for watching this video that it is the just the classification of the protozoology and helminthology so if you want further details videos then please do subscribe my channel please also do like the video thank you guys